I'm going to talk to you about the specialty that I incorporate in my training. Okay? This is what I do. This is why I do this at all. Teaching you how to effectively communicate your information for me is all about saying what you mean and getting out of your own way. Okay, those are important. However, while those are the underpinnings of everything that I express, what is the special sauce that I use to bring my clients to their sense of full confidence in their message delivery? It's this. It's an integration of voice and face and body. It's body, voice, and face integration. You see, I've been a professional dancer all of my adult life. I am a ballet dancer. I teach ballet, okay? I know how to do that stuff, okay? I know how to extend the line. And that is important. It's not just ballet, it's modern dance, it's movement-based theater work, it's all that different stuff. And I have a particular bent. I always go toward neck up work. In dance, I used to not get hired by people when I, when I auditioned for someone else's core group because <laughs> I would articulate everything from neck up. And all of the other dancers and movers, they usually were kind of stiff here, right? So a director or a choreographer would say, Paul, I love what you're doing, but I can't use you. Everybody in the audience will be looking at you and not looking at my work. And I, in this particular case, want the whole core group to be the work. So I either have to not hire you or I have to create a solo for you. Some people wouldn't hire me and some people would create a solo for me. I got a little tired of that so I just decided to make my own company and hire myself. But there's the body movement from the dance-based, movement-based training that I've incorporated in my performing work all over the world for the past 30-something years on TV shows and stages. There's the face dancing, neck up expression, which I teach people how to do, and I've been teaching them since 1987. Yes, I'm older than some of you. <laughs> And then there's the voice. How to say things loudly, quietly, up high, down low. Say them, take a pause, and offer all of the vocal dynamics, just like playing along with singing an album in the shower, and all of a sudden you belt forth with something, or pretending you're some cartoon character like, like Homer Simpson or Professor John Frink, you know, something like that, and you imitate various stuff, and then you use those dynamics. I'm not telling you that you need to become a character actor, although a long time ago I did share the stage with a guy named Tom Kenny. You can look him up. He's earned his living ever since being a uh, stand-up comedian as a character actor. He is the voice of SpongeBob and most of the other car cartoon characters on the SpongeBob SquarePants. So he's earned a perfectly fine living without ever having to act in front of the camera very much at all. Although he was very good in uh, Shakes the Clown, if you've ever seen that. So. This is what I do, you see. If you want some kind of presentation, performance level presentation skills, are you really just going to go to some person who deals with business? Or are you going to come to somebody who truly understands what it means to tap into all the different elements? 
Because if you can say it without lights, without fancy sound rig, without fancy crew, then you really got something. And that is the guts behind all of my stuff under which that umbrella is teaching you to say what you mean and to get out of your own way. Hairy American Troll, The Art of Face Dancing, boom.